All right, now before we actually get started into the video, I just want to make it known that fun fact, the last time that I got exclusive access on a sneaker was on these and that was what 2020 november this is before i did youtube so yeah almost going on four years now that your boy missed out on exclusive access now was i excited to get exclusive access for this shoe of course now do i think i'm going to keep these um probably not but here let me tell you why look i'm probably gonna post a video about this too but I just got way too many shoes. Like it's it's shoes that just sit around, been in the closet for three, four years, haven't been worn. But that's for a different story. Military blues. Now, there was a lot of talk on these shoes, a lot of hype built around them, comparisons to this being sneaker of the year, Jordan of the year. You know who you are. You said you were waiting for this shoe. Now it's here. Do we still feel the same way about the bread four? reimagines now do we still think that the military blues are better than the bread reimagines i already told you my opinion like these a lot more y'all get in the comment section y'all let me know but besides that besides the comparisons military blue fours here is the also this isn't the last military blue we got it's a different kind we'll get into that later jump man flight orange hang tag back tab got that nike air on it netting's white inside of it it's gonna have that blue yeah military blues now since they've have released i know you've probably seen them if you've been somewhat tapped into the sneaker community that you've seen a lot of people very upset with this sneaker and it's because of the actual color of the shoe itself because this ain't white it ain't even off white like we don't know what this is it's not gray but it's kind of like a grayish white now this this is white right here now this upper here not sure actually let's 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 take a look at the box and see what the box is so the box is look it says off-white military blue this really don't look like an off-white i'm trying to see if i got something that has off-white on it yeah because if we're looking at wave runners you know this is off-white this ain't like a full white you know they're a little dirty they do need to be cleaned up but like let's look here that's not off-white that's not the off-white we're used to or like sale maybe it is off-white y'all let me know how y'all feel about the color in the comment section but when it comes to these shoes that color kind of threw it off and if you take a look like this leather here is not really premium. It's not like buttery or soft to the touch at all. That's another reason and main mainly is the actual color of the blue. Uh, hopefully within the B-roll, I can kind of show you how that blue will kind of look to the best of my ability. I'm not gonna alter the colors in any way. That's essentially what you're gonna get. It's not gonna look like the blue from the military blue from the past. Actually, what year was it? Yeah, so it's, it's not gonna be like the military blue from 2012. This is kind of a more toned down blue the military blue from 2012 was a little bit more vibrant a little bit more brighter i'm not exactly for sure what this is they claim that it's military blue some say that it's mimicking the very original version of the shoe because the one in 2012 was a retro now when it comes to the shape of the shoe there i've heard people say that this isn't like sb4 cushioning so it's not going to be as comfortable as like the SB4s or the Bread 4 Reimagines, you know, they've been kind of playing around with like the different shapes with the different molds when they use the Jordan 4s because they keep going back to full, back and forth between the original cut of how they were and the newer cut that we most likely are have been accustomed to have been grown to you know but i'm gonna keep this short sweet simple they're military blue fours you, if you wanted a detailed review out there of these sneakers they're already out there look i just wanted to give my take on them before they actually release saturday may 4th i'm glad that the sneaker guys have uh blessed me with a early review uh for retail because you know when it comes to this YouTube thing, when people get early reviews nowadays, they're paying the premium. They're not paying retail. And I know I wasn't gonna do that, so it's always good to get an early review out for retail. Now, I did wanna compare these to another shoe that I have in the collection that I've also did a review on, and that is the Military Blacks. And personally, I wanna say this probably a lot better quality of a shoe, like just off the bat. 
from the leather alone. Right. This more tumble, way softer to the touch. It's a more hairier nubuck suede combination. Don't know. Military blacks, military blues. Like, come on now. If you had to choose between one of these, which one are you choosing? Just be honest with me in the comments. I'm going with the military blacks. This is gonna go with a lot more. Don't really wear too much blue. But hey, if you have a closet full of blue and your closet looks like the ocean, you might wanna go with these. You know what I'm saying? I typically like to wear all black, but to each its own. But yeah, that's probably another reason why I probably won't keep this shoe as well, because I have the military blacks and I would much rather wear this before spending 215 plus tax for these. A million pairs. There's gonna be plenty of pairs of these. I don't really like talking about resale when it comes to sneakers because we shouldn't be buying things because they go for a lot of money, but they said there's a million pairs of these. So these you should be able to get your hands on. If you put in the work, hopefully sneakers has a healthy amount of stock on Saturday morning. So when you enter in, hopefully you're able to get your size. Hopefully you're able to get your friend size, girlfriend, wife, boyfriend, whatever. So if you do like these, good news, your chances are a lot higher because they did make a lot more pairs of these. So that's always great news for the sneaker community. Um, but that is it, y'all. I'm gonna get on out of here. We're gonna get this video edited, get it out to you ASAP, pronto. And appreciate y'all for watching as always. Stay tuned. I know that the sneaker game has been kind of dead. I mean, there's a lot of shoes that still come out, but outside of that, it's your boy Moody. You watch Moody TV, plenty of other things coming here soon. So I want y'all to be here for it. Make sure y'all hit that subscribe button. Check out some of the other videos. If you're YouTube, if you're just now coming across my page, looking for something new to watch. If you like my charisma, then, you know, check out some of the other ones. But I'm gonna go ahead and check out y'all. And we'll see you Saturday. Hopefully I can um, do another video Saturday of picking up another pair or just kind of like recapping everything that kind of happened with the sneaker. And then yeah, we'll come back on Saturday, all right? So if you want these, go ahead and put your raffles in. Make sure you're doing your due diligence. Most likely you'll probably get a pair. If not, you won't have to pay too much extra. That's what I'm hearing, but you never know these days. People can swear up and down that they don't want this shoe, and then as soon as it comes out, resale be 50 plus dollars extra. All right, so, it's your boy Moody. I'm gonna get him out of here. Peace, y'all. I'm gone.